And welcome back, everybody, to Lone Oak, um, episode five, I think. <laughs> uh, I should just not say the numbers. That'll, that'll help out. You can see that starting off the bat here, we do have, uh, well, it's a lot different of a, of a piece of equipment that I have pulling behind me. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I, we weren't quite ready to go to the big bud level. That's just a little bit insane. And, well, I guess I should clarify that because I did have uh, someone in my last video say that they, well, maybe it was two videos ago now, but they said that if you don't want to use big American equipment, then you need to go play on British maps. Apparently, the guy didn't understand that I was a real farmer and, um, you know, our, our family farm farms about 400 acres, which uh, it's probably... Basically, well, to put that in perspective, if you put a standard size map and you paint the entire texture, no buildings, no roads, with all arable land, that's roughly 500 acres, I believe. So <laughs> imagine planting that entire thing with a six row planter that is basically 4.5 meters wide, right? Yes, there are a lot of big American farmers. There are also a lot of smaller American farmers. The bigger American farmers also plant thousands of acres with that air seed drill in a season, which means that's, uh, well, like basically four standard size maps completely full of terrain. That's what they plant in a season to justify their air seeder. So when I say that I like to start out with smaller equipment, yeah, I don't really appreciate comments from ignorant people that obviously are not real farmers in North America. So anyway, with that little, uh, aside done we will continue on to the episode yes i did buy a little bit bigger of a planter those the reason i use those six meter john deere planters is well that's basically what aiden said his family uses in real life another uh point against that comment normally i don't <laughs> normally i just ignore stupid comments and delete them but i don't know i felt like that when i had to have a little rebuttal against so yes, I am playing a little bit bigger than the farm, but then again, my justification is, well, I just, I just wanted a, a bigger planter and I didn't want to have to plant all my fields for hours and uh, make that take up all my free time. So yeah, I'm, I'm cheating a little bit with a little bit big size planter, but the, uh, I'm saying that, yeah, I know it's a little unrealistic, but again it's just a game and i want to be sure that i'm having fun and i don't want there to be about i think lone or not lone oak uh west coast i had probably how many episodes did i have that was um planting i think i had something like uh whoops that was the wrong button i think i had something like uh I don't, I don't know how many episodes I had of me running that drill. I think it was like some like five episodes where all I did was run that drill back and forth. And so, yeah, I, uh, I, I, I didn't really want to have to do that again. So this will make it speed up a little bit more than I know I said, well, we got some rain actually coming soon. So hopefully we can beat the rain and get a little bit more planted here. Um, but Let's see, how much more seed are we going to need? Uh, I, I forget how much this made. I actually found this mod on Mod Hoster. It's uh, done, it's one of those by LendBJ Modding. And I made it MR. Currently, I do not, uh, I, I will eventually release the, uh, the file on the databank if you wish. But this is the first time I'm testing it. And so... I'm going to test it a little bit here on my Lone Oak Farm season episode thing while um, while you guys, uh, I don't know what, what I'm, I'm trying to think and drive. Um, I will eventually release it. I just wanted to test it first. That's what I'm trying to say. So one other note here, you're going to notice something kind of weird with these uh, with these textures. And that was because he originally had, we got to, well, we can either pull forward or wait for the traffic to clear out here. I suppose we can just wait for the traffic. It's almost gone. 
But anyway, what I was saying is that I think version one of this model had a little bit of a problem with the, the two textures throughout all of the... Uh... Nope. Are we not going to be able to fill it with... Uh... Huh. Might not be able to fill it here. Oh, there we go. So anyway, yes, there you go. You can see now I'll, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the real life differences in a minute, but I guess what is going on? Okay. You know what? Well, we can, we can at the very least pull this tractor forward a little bit more. So let's do that real quick here. And in real life, this box is a, uh, I, I wrote this all down in my notes. And, of course, we would be um, doing this. Uh, I guess the whole box doesn't lower, so no, we wouldn't. But, anyway, this in real life, this entire box is a set volume. I forget. Uh, it's something like 2,500 bushel. I forget the exact amount. I left it in my notes in the MR file. But if you look in the, the PDF that I read on this drill, the uh, 3003 section... Uh, it's about, I think this is the 30 foot wide in real life that he modeled. It's roughly 9 meters. But anyway, it has, this is not the way it does it. This is just the way that he had to model it, I believe, for the limitations of the game. But if you look in real life, so say it's set at 2,500 bushel, you can get that percentage where either you have no fertilizer and it's all seed, or you can kind of draw a line down the half, that, right down the middle there, so you can have 49% of it be fertilizer, or you can increment that to 46 or 32%. And so those are the set percentages that you can have reserved for the uh, the compartment. So I kind of had to make a choice when I was making the MR file. I believe the, the set rate that I made it was 42. It felt like it was the it was the most even based on the based on the usage rate of the fertilizer and when I seeded wheat. So that's what I decided to go with. Looks like we need another fertilizer container as well. But we're going to start with seed here. And fill... You know what? Let's get a lower gear here. Makes going forward a little bit easier. And... Go forward just gently. If we can. This is going to take the entire episode. And I'm not going to get any seeding done. Looks like we barely stabbed it there. And let's uh, lift it so we don't want to hit the trailer. Okay, so we got some seed. We'll probably need... Oh, no. Oh, whoa! What? What is that? Oh, that's going to be great. Um, apparently, if you put the, uh, the seed container on the very edge of the forks, it spasms until it does a triple black backflip and lands in the middle of a pine tree for us. Uh, right. Well, we'll be sure to get it all the way on the forks next time so that doesn't happen. That's gonna be, uh, that's great. That is just great. Um, we're gonna switch to mouse and keyboard here. I'm a little bit more comfortable with mouse and keyboard even though it doesn't look quite as pretty. This is gonna be a Oh, goodness. Should we just call that as loss? And, uh, forget about this? Oh, my goodness. We can get it. Although we might need, uh, looks like we might need some differentials here. Oh, boy. Well, this is gonna be fun. Oh, we're stuck on the tree? Is that what it was? We were stuck on the tree there. Okay. We're stuck on a lot of things. Okay, looks like we are straight enough now. Now we just gotta... Oh my goodness, what a nightmare. So, lesson learned. Do not get it barely on the edge of your forks. You gotta get that sucker all the way. And actually, you know what? I think it might be easier if we just lift this up, back it in, and turn. There we go. That's how you unbury a seed container from the middle of a forest. Okay, now we can go back to the prettier steering wheel. And... We can also shift gears. So we're not revving at 5,000 RPM at 2 miles an hour. 
There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So, anyway, I bought two of these. The uh, the dealer gave us a good deal on them this season. Um, we, got them on, we got them on a pretty good loan, so I'm, I'm happy with that. And it left plenty of money left over to buy to buy plenty of cows as well. So, remember, we want to make some cows. I have also spoken with Aiden, and he actually said that a lot of guys in the area actually still use the, the bunkers for silage. They don't use a lot of round bales in the area. I did, uh, I think someone, someone did uh, say that they were up there and they do square bales, at least for what they saw. And, you know, at first I was just like, well, they probably just didn't see uh, the entire area. You know, how can they make that judgment? Whoops. Truck clipped us there a little bit. How can they make that judgment call based off the, uh, the entire state when they do so? Well, yeah, it turns out that it's true. They use, uh... They use predominantly, it seems, square bales and silage bunker. But I still think starting off small, I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of extra equipment for, um, well, I mean, I guess at the very least, it's just a forge wagon. So it's not really that much more equipment, right, for uh, for silage bunkers. But, I mean, the, the bottom line is we already have all the equipment for round bales now. I think this season we'll do round bales. We'll give people a fill of stacking round bales and uh, all kinds of wrapped round bales and stuff like that. And maybe in the fall we'll buy a square baler for the straw, but I think we'll start out with round bales. It's definitely cheaper. It means that a lot more of our tractors can pull that round baler instead of having to do one of those big, huge square balers. So I think that's where we will. That's where we'll start at. And let's see that. Is that one not all the way? I think we'll probably... Should we start with that? How much is in there? I mean, it looks like it's maybe... Is it maybe 50? We definitely need another fertilizer. So we'll grab another fertilizer first. But I think we might go from there because these big bags are... You know what? And then that, that might give... Uh, I do have one other person on here with me, Robert. And that might actually give him something to do. <laughs> <laughs> not that he's not already enjoying forklifting work over at the store enough because he is storing up the uh, the bales he's he's loading bales oh it actually looks like he's in the double cab now so looks like he might be on the way back by us actually but um, he is we can always send him back to the store to get some more seed because we don't we only have one more of those big bags of seed left, so that might be something that we'll have to have him do. And I guess I, I said the warning before, but <laughs> just in case he wasn't aware that that, that does kind of giddy up sometimes when you have uh, when you go over 30 miles an hour. So you have to be careful with that trailer. I don't know if it's the trailer or if it's the truck, but every now and then it'll have like a little bit of a hiccup where the, the trailer kind of hitches or it, it kind of flies up in the air just slightly and if you're going above 30 or definitely above 40 miles an hour it i have had it tip on me once so that's just something you really have to be careful of with that trailer until i figure out what exactly the problem is there so it looks like uh for future reference guys the loading triggers the fill points for both of these seed and fertilizer are in the middle there um, even though it shows it on different compartments and also like I said if you remember that's that's just the way that the model is in real life the you basically have a, a center divider well not necessarily in the center it's in 49 42 or 30 49 46 or 32 percent I believe if I remember the brochure right down the middle across all three bends so that's this is just visually represented based on the limitations of the game i'm guessing uh let's uh so now we can do that and we can lower our cedar and now we can go so let's go not backwards that could possibly kill something so on the end rows here let's uh put down uh-oh so the markers were working in single player. It appears that we have something wrong with them here. 
in multiplayer. I'm not, you can see it starts to move there, so I'm not exactly sure what's wrong. That's just why I do the, the testing here before I release the, uh, the mod to everybody on the MR website, but we also need uh, some differential there when we're, when we're going straight. That was, that was pretty ugly. And it looks like we also might need to change the, uh, so that's two things. Might need to change the threshold at which it engages and uh, causes that that ground texture to work. It is pretty well modeled where it, it's in those three sections there. So that's a, that's a nice little feature of this. I did buy two of them because I want, you know, it's, if it was just me, obviously I'd only have one. I mean, there'd be really no reason to have all these different tractors. So it's, this is kind of a, a difference between pure realistic gameplay and just having a little bit more fun for a few other people on a, on a server, really. Let's uh, go back the rest of the way there. And there we go. So I guess I could turn on four-wheel drive as well. I was starting with the off just because I think this is a... You know, we're on our, we're on our optimum here. This guy's a, a pretty big tractor. And I uh, I guess four-wheel drive would make it a little bit easier. Whoops, that's the wrong button. Just make it maybe slip a little less on the back tires there. So I think that's that should work. Yeah, and I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm still curious. Well, you know what? I should have uh, looked on the road there to see if, <laughs> to make sure there was no traffic before I turn around, but look at that that is a beautiful pass um do we want to do three i think let's do three end rows it'll just make it a little bit easier let's hop inside the cab here for a little bit i don't i i, I want to stay outside the view is just so amazing from this field we're gonna stay outside the cab just for a little bit while we look at this view Although it is easier to back up if we would be inside the cab here. There we go. Well, I say easier. As I almost got off there. Off the, uh... Overall, this, overall, this planter is... Well, I should call it a drill. Uh, it, it is really, really well done. I am, I am very happy with this guy. We just also need to find out our... We'll use GPS here. Our Optum has GPS, so I guess we don't need to worry too much about proper spacing, but it would be a good idea. It looks like roughly if the corner of the work texture is just on the edge of the uh, fender there, it's a little bit outside the wheel, actually. That's about where we want it. Just about like that. So that'll be, that'll be what we want there. All right. We are lifted up, and let's go along. Should we go along this pass first, I guess? Let's see. We got to do... We're definitely going to have some point rows here. So, um, well, actually, I don't even know if they call them point rows since it's all drilled. It doesn't really matter as much. And uh, let's see. I'm not sure if uh, Robert's wondering what to do or not, but he is more than welcome to bring the other uh, drill set out here and get it filled up we can work on the same field together and generally probably wouldn't see that in real life but it's it's a lot more fun in, in game to to work on fields with other people so i'm going to be using gps and he can uh either copy my course or, or start on the other side of the field if he wants to do that but he's he's welcome to stay over there and uh i think i believe he's mixing up power food for cows as well now so that is that um there we go and let's uh line it up and i think we'll just drop it here and kind of do we'll do a pass around the field and then we'll decide how we want to do this field i think working east to west will definitely be the way we want to go But I just don't know if that's uh, 
Let's see. This is kind of an ugly looking field. You know, this is almost... We might want to do actually two or three passes along the edge here. Because this is... We're going to have to use these as our turn rows, I believe. Let's go ahead and look at the overview here. So we are in field one. I think... Yeah, we definitely want to go east to west on this guy. I mean, almost... <sighs> Diagonal would almost work better. But then we're going to have a lot of uh, turning around at an angle when we have a nice straight edge here along the north side of the field. And it rained. So, depending on how much it rains here, we can work a little bit while it's raining. But uh, raining is not good when you're planting. Raining is not good with any field work. Not only does it cause extra compaction, but it uh, it makes things clod up. And for a planter, that means that you're not feeding through um, properly. All the dirt's gonna get clotted up there in the uh, in the drill. Especially, I mean, on a planter, we can rain. We can go just uh, slightly when it rains before the topsoil gets too wet. But uh, any more than a few minutes really causes it to start to clog up and especially on something like this the spacing is oh i think i accidentally that's not good i must have accidentally hit my reverse button man that's sensitive uh i gotta i gotta maybe change that to a different button but the spacing on this is even closer than what it is on a planter so i don't know that we'll be able to go for very long at all here yeah and you can see that we're we're struggling a little bit more, a little bit more slippage. So it looks like it is going to be, maybe we'll just do a little bit more prep work here. And, um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of just hit us perfect where it's just almost not enough time in an episode to, to just stop seeding. I mean, that's kind of like a depressing amount of, uh, of field work in an episode, but I don't know. Maybe we'll fast forward to when it stops raining and the moisture goes off, but I will probably, I will, I don't know. There's, there's just enough time that if we go do something else, then that's enough time to, to end the episode basically. So what will probably happen at this point is I'm going to do one more pass up here. Uh, I think, I think we decided with kind of three passes for end rows. So I'm going to do one more pass along the edge here. And then I'm gonna go back to the farm and help Robert either feed the cows or I'm not sure what. Maybe we'll, you know, we can also get the planters ready. We can restock, refill the planters. That'll involve buying a little bit more seed. Uh, we could also buy, well, no, we don't wanna buy cows really until we can start making our own hay. And that's not quite ready yet. So, um, we don't probably... I guess maybe we could buy one more truckload of cows. I don't know. Maybe not. Should we buy another truckload of cows? Probably not. Yeah, yeah, probably not. We... Well, again, with water and... I mean, we could get their... No, how, how much... I wonder what their health is at, at only grass and only water. Because that's what we could supply them with now. We do have the grazing mod installed. I have had a few requests to uh, make that a, a tutorial video. It's not very complicated, but I think that enough people have requested it. I'll probably make that a tutorial here pretty soon. So here's what I'm gonna do. I think I will park the planter here in the grass. We don't wanna, we don't wanna park it on the field. That could be bad. Uh, give you a little bit extra compaction. So we'll probably just we'll probably just leave the planter here. Let's go. Let's go back and check on the cows. See if we can't help with that. Maybe we can help uh, unstacking that trailer or uh, what's going on here. So let's go see what Robert is up to. And he has. Oh, it looks like uh, we should uh, return this to the store. Um, the <laughs> the the very first video I did have a t6 on our farm but then i decided to reconfigure that's when i reconfigured everything and i have a, a smaller tractor with uh, all case equipment 
That tractor is actually, I'm role-playing that that belongs to the store. So I'm role-playing that that is, uh, basically, I, I don't know what equipment store you could, you could buy stuff at that doesn't have something to load you up, right? Uh, they'll either have some kind of dock with a little forklift or a, a front loader, something, you know, a small tractor, like, well, probably not a T6, maybe a T5, but they'll have something smaller that they can use to load you up with. So that way you don't have to bring your own front loader. And so I was basically role playing that that is the stores and that stays at the stores for jobs like that. And as long as that happens, then I don't, you know, I'll probably pay myself a little bit for the upkeep for it just because um, we're technically paying for the upkeep for that. But role play wise, that way, this, you know, I don't have to pay money that I, I basically reimburse myself for the same amount that that tractor costs. So that's why I'm keeping it over there at the store, but I still get to use a, a T6 from time to time, which I really, really enjoy. Um, in the meantime, we can work on getting these bales unloaded. So we're gonna need the, where's the other tractor here? I brought home one other tractor that, okay, so this is something we could do. We could take this over to the store and load it up with a little bit more seed and fertilizer. Um, but right now I'm looking for, can I go? Oh, there we go. This guy. So we're going to look for this guy and we are going to, well, let's go out the other way. Let's actually do this first. Let's get a little bit of that. And we will put you away like that. And there we go. So now let's, uh, hop out through the door. And we will figure out what to do next. I think we're going to work on putting those bales away and storing them because that is, that's kind of a must right now. I suppose if we were buying bales, it could have been square bales, but I don't know. Since we, since we have a round baler, I just kind of figured might as well keep with the round theme, but those bales are probably all going to be used by the time we get to where we're producing our own bales, so it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway. And let's uh, take that off now. And I did have a pair of forks on the farm already, so I'm not sure where those are at. Are they in here? Oh, did I just buy those little forks? I did, didn't I? Wait, those are those are bale spikes, not pallet forks. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, that that makes sense. I did that. I think I did that because um, I don't know why I did that. But let's uh, let's go in here to let's see. We're gonna have to undo the straps off these guys. Well, actually, we can leave. You know what? Let's leave those for now. So let's just get the hay and the straw under the uh under the cover so we can actually grab i think it'll be easier if we get rid of the wrapped bale handler and let's just go with the with the spikes for those guys those wrapped bales can can stay out under the weather for a little bit that's not gonna hurt them any all right there we go and yeah i'm just gonna cheat and use mouse and keyboard just a little bit easier. I'm not sure how much Robert had left on that other, uh, it looked like he might have been in the process of dumping that into the cows. Uh, I guess what we could also do is we could just unload these later together and the, um, we could pull the truck under cover or I suppose he could go get the, uh, the other front loader, the little case Maxim and go bring that back or actually the puma's at the farm and the puma is front load capable so that's that's another front loader that he could use although i'm not sure where where's the other set of front loader arms oh you know what i don't know if we have front loader arms on the farm because we only have two and that is uh well almost got the got the bad end of that one um i think we only have two front loader arms on the farm and we have three four tractors that can support them so that might be something that has to change here 
All right, let's uh, put this one down like that. I guess since they're kind of already stacked like that, we'll just keep them like that in that same form. And I guess this will be easier if we need to make some more. So yeah, this will be easy. So easier than stacking them at least. So let's uh, go back to mouse and keyboard again. And let's grab two. Oh, were we done? Uh... Oh, just going around to make it a little easier, I guess. A little bit easier to angle. Oh, I lost one. That's unfortunate. All right, so it should be, uh, what, like two of these and... I don't know. I always have to just look at the bar. I know you just can't have equal parts straw because if you have equal straw, then that's not good. So you always have to do one less of straw. And so we'll do two, two, and one. And we'll see how that looks. I don't do this enough to remember. Oh, man, we... It bit the dust. Get in there. There we go. All right, and then uh, one straw, I think two straw will make them all equal again, and that will be bad. Because then it won't be total mix ration. All right, there we go. So that is, we got to start up the tractor to mix it up with more realistic mod, and there we go. So we are pretty good ratios. So let's put another hay in because hay is cheaper than silage. And I think we'll still have TMR if we put one more hay in there. Don't go in the manure pit. Oh, we already got one of the manure pits. Oh, we're going to blame Robert on that one. That one is totally Robert's fault. And that is total mixed rash. You probably don't want to do another one. Yeah. So we're going to come back later and get those rat bales. I don't know. Oh, man. We'll almost. This is probably not the best spot to park, as it turns out, for loading bales. Because, um... If you hit it just wrong, apparently it goes down in that manure pit. How are we going to get it out of there? Um, I guess we'll have to use... How do you use the uh, the super powerful arms or whatever whatever that is? Is that a mod or is that something you can do with developer controls? Because that's what we're going to have to do to get that bale out of there. There's no way we're going to be able to put a track... Well, I guess if we get a telehandler and tip it on its back webs to kind of legs to tip the front arm down for because I think at best you can only get the telehandler level you can't angle it down into the ground so we'd have to get like a telehand oh there's two bales down there I missed that other one <laughs> yeah I think we need to put a big sign uh, for that truck saying no parking no parking with bales next to the uh next to the slurry pit oh man that's uh, i totally wouldn't have even thought of that i'm not trying to blame robert on that at all but that's uh <laughs> just an unfortunate circumstance of of the, the map that it happens sometimes what are you gonna do well i mean i guess if we leave them down there long enough you know they're exposed in the rain they'll eventually disappear I don't really know how else we'll be able to save them. <laughs> he's, uh... He's saying over in Discord that he had this similar experience that I had with the, uh, with the seed basket. They just... I guess, apparently, if you have them on the edge, you don't want them on the edge. They just, they just flip up and go all crazy. I've never seen that happen before, though. Why... Like, why now, after, like, what, 1,500 hours of playing Farming Simulator, do I see, 
weird things with physics that I've never seen before. I don't know. They, did they update the game or something recently? That I, I don't know. But what I do know is these bales actually fit in here pretty nicely. So, uh, yeah, that works. Square bales, we definitely two, probably three. I think we could probably go three high with square bales in there. So that, that could work. And silage, we're not going to want to spear or stab those with uh, with spikes. So I think that's, uh, that's good enough. Is there... M Let's see. Let's... Uh, Let's look back at the uh, at the store here. I gotta see if there is more bales. Yes. So we need to make another run to the store then and um, get those other bales. So that means we need to get in this tractor here and get the wrapped bale handers because we need to get those salad bales off so that we can go back to the store and get those bales before they uh, before more bad stuff happens in the rain. Like deterioration with, uh, you know, although like with one raining, they'll lose like what a couple hundred liters, if that. I mean, it's not, it's not like they'll lose everything. So let's just actually kind of kick this off to the side. Still though, you want to minimize the loss where you can. Oops, I am, I am depth perception challenged, or whatever that's called. We actually need to kind of get rid of that front weight. That's a little bit, or we need to get bigger, uh, a bigger, bigger front loader arm. Is this the 30? I can't tell. If, it doesn't have the name on it, right? I can't tell if this is the 30 or the 60, but. Whoops. And there we go. We got it. All right, let's uh, drop this down, and then let's make another hurry drive back to the store. And you know what? Actually, one of us can drive this guy. The other guy can drive the uh, the uh, the seed thing. What am I trying to say? <laughs> the uh, the seed wagon, the seed and fertilizer wagon, the uh, the 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 other case tractor that has the the other stuff on it. Yes, that is what I'm trying to say. Uh, actually, when we come back to make it faster, we can just throw it in there. Actually, that might be, that might be faster. Um, we'll just back it in. So that way we don't have to unload in the rain. We get it under cover faster, and we are all good. So let's uh, hop in this trailer, and we will be gone wonderful rainy day and you'd think this was great britain <laughs> although i mean i'm sure the re the reason why they uh they do grass seed here is they get more rain in the area probably don't have to irrigate i, w I do wonder what their average rainfall is in comparison to something like the midwest Let's see how fast we can go on this dirt road. No, probably not. It's, it's bumpy enough. We probably don't want to go faster than... Well, really, we probably wouldn't want to go faster than 30, but it's a game. Let's just... Let's just go as fast. Let's see if we can get this sucker up to top speed. Okay, probably not. This is a little bit too bumpy for top speed. On the main road... Well, we still probably don't want to go up to top speed there. Just play it nice and... Nice and calm nice and careful I, plus I don't know where I don't know where Robert's at I assume he's going to the store but you never know alright here we go so stop then we'll turn on our blinker if I remember what the blinker button is we are clear okay there we go a nice wide turn we have to turn off the blinker because it's not like a, it's not like a normal car. There is Robert right there. Uh, we wouldn't necessarily have to offload all of those. I'd probably just offload a couple and then take take it over to the store and we can top it off from there. I think that's probably 
the best thing to do. And actually, probably the easiest thing to do would also be we could drive the new planter up there with the... Uh, we should have just left it at the store. Um, but the one that was attached to the, the Puma, we can drive that one to the store and load it at the store. So that way we don't have to bring back a trailer and immediately empty the trailer into that other into that other one. Um, just, just thinking off the top of my head here. So here we go. Let's uh, park. Let's pull forward just a little bit more. And we'll just uh, turn it off. And let's go grab that. And I'm stuck. Okay, let's pull forward just a little bit more so I won't be stuck. And <laughs> there we go. All right. We are not stuck now. So let's uh, hop in that T6. And uh, we got some uh, some stuff to do. Let's load the silage bales. Well, you know what? The silage bales can stay there. Really. Because of the rain. But, well, I mean, we want to get them now. We don't want to have to... We don't want to have to wait on those. So let's actually just uh, go on over. We're just going to use keyboard and mouse. I'm a little bit faster with keyboard and mouse. So let's, uh, oops, wrong, wrong thing to drop. So let's uh, back up here. Let's get those wrapped bales on the trailer first. They're easier to load that way. And there we go. And yeah, like I said, I don't know. We, we could bring the Puma up here. It would just save us loading a couple, uh, a couple extra, a couple extra big bags onto the trailer. Since I'm, I'm thinking that we'll also need to, at the very least, we'll need to reload that trailer at least one more time throughout this season. Because there's a lot of fields that we're going to have to, uh, that we're going to have to plant and drill this year. So, there we go. We got one on hooray those uh too bad you can't do wrapped uh square bales on the uh from the from the by bale mod well you know what i mean you could but then you would have to what do you have to have the do you have to have the coon pack to have wrapped square bales? I wonder if that's why they didn't ever do that. I don't I don't know. That is what introduced that mechanism, right? For wrapped square bales. So you couldn't do them, you couldn't do I don't know. Um Yeah. This is always hard. Is there a is there a good way to do <laughs> this with wrap bales? They always get all over the place. This is why I'm doing the wrap bales first, and then we'll just throw the. Uh... We'll throw the uh, the ra the other bales on afterwards. If it's not too ugly. Might have to do some uh, some triple stacking here. Ah, uh, that should be on enough, I hope. <laughs> Cause you gotta open them up just barely enough to uh, maybe we can mush it down. There we go. You gotta open them up just barely enough because if you open it up too far, then you throw another bale off the trailer. So, I don't know. What's the what's the right way to wrap? What's the right way to load wrapped bales onto a trailer? Oh boy, we got that as well. So we've got uh, loading of. Let's see, we can push these other bales on. Nope. Let's uh go. Come on, shove it back. Yes. Not too far. There we go. That worked out pretty good. That worked out pretty good. And Robert has left the service. We just wanted to say a quick thanks to him for joining in and doing the work that he did. And we will go on to 
I guess there. Yeah, you know what? I, I like to cheat and do this from uh, third person. I don't know how people can do this from first person. It's just the game doesn't give me any depth perception when I when I go to do this in first person. In real life, it's just so much easier to see things. You know what? The simple, you know, like so. For example, inside the cab, if you just lean forward or look to the side, you know, it gives you that extra depth perception that your uh, that your body does naturally without even thinking about it. But here, it's just it's like. Okay, I think I'm on top of the trailer now, but am I really? <laughs> yeah, see, I thought I was on the far edge. I can still go a little bit more. It just makes it harder. Okay, that one actually seemed pretty easy, but normally normally it's a lot harder, okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> no, no comment. Okay, we're going back down for this other one. Let's... Uh, you know what? Maybe maybe I just don't do it inside the cab enough. That's the that's the problem. Yeah, see? Yeah. We're just going to we're just going to go from outside the cab. Not that it's much easier. <laughs> because when I don't turn the camera, it's basically the same as first person. You don't have the same, you don't have depth perception. That's why I like third person, because you can rotate that camera to get that perspective. And we're gonna mess this one up, aren't we? We did. We didn't! We did not. And uh, how am I gonna get that? You know what? At this point, let's just uh, go forward. Let's just do another uh, right angle turn. And we'll get that other bail from there. All right, we are not stuck on a flag like last time. That is good. And run back to our tractor. And going forward. We gotta salvage this bail from the signs. No, don't go back into the sign. We're gonna have another spasm bail, aren't we? Just gotta grab it enough. Oh no. Are you stuck on the sign? Oh, come on. Come on. Oh wow, that was close. I think it was stuck on the, the case sign back there. Oh, oh, we're spasming. Don't drop over the fence. No, no. <laughs> what? What was that? I've never, why? Okay, well, hopefully those bushes don't have collisions. Hopefully they're the shrubs you can run over. My goodness. I've never seen so many spasming. Granted, I mean, I didn't have the bail all the way. But, you know, I really, really hope they improve the bail handling in, in 19. That would be something that I greatly hope they improve. It's just not the best. I mean, it's easier to handle logs and spin tires. Spin tires does a lot of things better than farming simulator. And I'm not talking about the, the the terrain, the realistic terrain or whatever you want to call it. I don't care about that. I like physics and realistic weight feeling. And you know what? Like, not everything has to be. You know, it's kind of funny. It's like it's like they tried to make logging so realistic when in reality they just needed to i don't know what dural did in farming simulator 13 but his mr mod for uh for logging for stacking bales particularly well, did he even do it for logs i actually don't know that for a fact but for bale handling his bale stacking in mr for 13 it seemed so great i don't know what they did differently why they couldn't just copy what he did no one is someone's always unhappy right and it's always me oh what we can get four at once right it's straw we got a back weight we've got it although that means oh don't stop too quick 
Uh, that does mean we should pull forward the trailer just a little bit here. And let's, uh, I guess we'll run over the truck to, to go forward. But, yeah, let's just go forward just a little bit more. And uh, there we go. Okay, back to the front loader. Good old T6. It is very nice of the store to have this uh, T6 for us to use. Okay. So. Let's uh, go forward a little bit more. We are just slightly crooked. Let's see if we can't push this over. Because I think, if we're lucky, we might get a second stack of hay on the back there, which, oh, just barely, which would save us a lot of work. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's grab all four bales here and man, almost knocked over that other stack. Just a little bit too sloppy today. And there we go. So let's see if this works out. No more crazy bail physics today. No, sir. We're going to do nice. Yeah, let's try to... Okay, that's as far as they go. No more crazy bail physics. And we are good to go. Let's strap those up. So we got one strap. And we got two straps. And then the rest of those, we're going to throw some hay bales on top. And then we'll be done at the store. Well, not for a little while because we still have to load up some uh, seed and fertilizer from the uh, from the thing. So, you know, I'll have to talk to Robert because if his truck didn't, I, I, I talked a little bit earlier in the episode and also last episode how I, I don't know if it's the trailer or if it's the truck, the more realistic mod, but it's, it's one of the two doesn't work right all the way and it's just it's uh it's just um gonna be a little bit I'm trying to talk and do two things at once um but what i was trying to say is i don't know if it's a truck or if it's the the trailer there but if robert didn't have any little hiccups on the truck when he was driving it back or the trailer it might be how the load was positioned on the trailer which means it might be a problem with the trailer instead of actually the truck so uh, i don't i don't know what's going on there but we'll see if we can see it again because if he had more weight say for example to the back maybe that's all the problem was i don't know but there we go okay so yeah that all done we'll go park the new holland now and we will return those veils to the farm and it has already stopped raining just in that when did it stop raining just in that short time Unfortunately, the ground is too wet. This actually happened. I remember it was uh, two years ago. It actually... Well, we'll leave the front loaders on. Um, two years ago, we were... We were on the last field. Okay, so we were farther away from the last field. But we were finishing up planting, and it started raining. And it didn't rain long, but it rained and stormed just enough where you, you started getting those clods um, that I was talking about. And you just you can't have clods going up into the planter and those the you know the row cleaners and just nothing nothing works when you have the ugly clods and not only that you i mean if you try to work ground when it's wet when it's too wet then of course you'll have clods on the ground you worked which also doesn't make for good planting so you just you never really want to work when it's uh oh you know what i wonder if i wonder if it was something like you know, I, I was driving from inside the cab. I wonder if it was something like the uh, the pickup truck. You know what? Let's let's try that here real quick. No, I think I would have seen that. Cause I think the second time I saw it, I was outside the cab, so that that couldn't have been it. 
do have a couple more seat. You know what? We could just grab those and bring them back with us, but I, I think we'll just skip them for now. Let's just go on back to the store, and I think that will be the end of the episode at that point. So let's actually, just to see if we can see it or not, let's drive from outside the cab here. See if we can't tell what the problem is. Maybe, maybe one of my modder friends could help me determine that if they see what the, well, okay, we gotta drive on the right side of the road. But uh, I only noticed it when I was going over 30 and it flipped the truck both times because I was going like 40. So let's, we wanna go just fast enough, but not too fast here. So let's go maybe up to fourth gear and not any faster, just in case it happens again. And got a little bit of a bump there, but not really anything so far. Maybe it was just, maybe it was just the way the bales were stacked that one time. Yeah, see, I didn't have a problem here either. It, you know, when it happened, when it happened, I saved the game actually right before I left with the truck um, from the store. So I was actually able to reload it and I replicated it like two or three times there. And each time it flipped the trailer which in turn flipped the truck, of course. Um, but I don't, it, it didn't happen any time this, this time. So it looks like maybe it was just a glitch where I loaded the trailer, oddly enough, maybe I had too much weight to the front. Who knows what it was, but it looks like that was just kind of a, maybe a once in a however so often error. And it's not, it's not a normal thing, so. Uh, when it's not a normal problem, that's kind of awful hard to troubleshoot. Let's uh, slow down a little bit here. I don't think we would be going really more than uh, 30 on this on this road. Probably not more than... It's probably be pretty fast for a, for a load this size. I mean, that's quite a bit back there. This trailer is pretty well modeled. All right, let's uh, turn on in. And we're gonna get weeds in those fields if we don't start planting them soon. Oops, that is not our farm. <laughs> Pay attention, dummy. Okay, we're going to our farm now. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do the right uh, we're gonna do the correct entrance this time. And I think, I don't think I'm going to unload these. I'm going to go for now. This episode is getting on pretty long. Um, when the next time you check back, we'll hopefully see a little bit more of those planters. But it's it's been quite a few episodes in the spring here. So we might just be in summer and doing some, some grass work. Getting ready for that, uh, that, that grass seed harvest. Um, well, no, I meant like more of the time. We're, we're going to be doing grass work for hay for cows, not grass seed for, for harvest. But the time will advance closer to the grass seed, uh, harvest. That'll be, that'll be exciting to, to watch there. So let's, uh, pull on in. We're going to make sure everything is turned off. Sounds like everything is. Yeah, that tractor was turned off. No, it's not. 49.55 was on. And the Puma was on. Oh, we never turned off the Puma. All right, well, let's uh, make sure are we we are fully in. So let's uh, turn off the truck here. We are done mixing the power food, so let's turn off the uh, 4955 as well. Might as well just leave it in the shed there. Nice and covered. So let's... Uh, Turn that one off and let's go check on the cows while we are here. So we have animals. They're up to 81% health. They're a little low on power food, but they're pretty good on everything else. So that is, uh, whoops, that is, uh, that is pretty good then. And I think that, let's see, there's one more tractor on. We'll run over to the Puma and we'll end the episode right. Let's see, where's the Puma? 
Um, perhaps. Actually, where is the Puma? That's a good question. It looks like uh, Robert moved it a little bit in order to plant or to to prep for planting. I'm just not really sure where. Oh, did he move it? Oh, he moved it right there. Oh, getting ready to. Oh, that's what he was doing. Okay. He was. I didn't. I totally did not see the Puma here. He was just getting it ready to uh, to add the fertilizer. He added the seed already. So we are getting pretty close to uh, to some planting. As soon as it dries off, we will continue planting and we will go from there. So you can see the little remnants of the thunderstorm. Just a few dark clouds there in the uh, in the background, but pretty uh, partly cloudy, pretty sunny skies for the most part. We will uh, hopefully that ground dries off pretty fast and we will be able to get back to planting. So until the next episode, I'm not sure where you'll find this next episode. I keep promising that, well, I keep saying that it might be all the planting done. It might be in the spring, um, but, uh, or it might be in the summer. It is the spring now. Man, I'm just, I, I didn't have my coffee this morning. That was the problem. Anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye and thanks for tuning in, everyone. I will see you again later. Yep, that's uh, that's the goodbye.